I'm too lazy to set up a whole YouTube thing. I'm trying to get this info out. I previously did a test on comparing the Komodo to the Canon C70. That was my first time touching a red camera at all, so I totally f***ed up that whole video. But with that, I also had a lot of people trying to debate that uh, a baked in log profile is just as good as a red profile. Well, I'm here to prove you guys all wrong. So for this test, I didn't do any overexposure comparisons because on any camera, once you blow the highlights, they're gone. They're not coming back. So the whole point of having a lot of dynamic range is being able to uh, rescue your highlights and keeping them safe while still getting a proper exposure. The reason we want to do that is because if you blow your highlights, it starts looking digital and unnatural to the eye. So I'm sorry to say everyone that was debating that log is just as good as raw. You're wrong. If you need a shoulder to cry on, I would honestly just call up your uh, return department and uh, see if they can help you. Uh, I understand that we spent a lot of money on this gear, but you know, this camera is not going to cuddle me and give me some babies tonight. You know, there, there's no reason for us to be so uptight and wound up over uh, brand loyalty and stuff. Let's start off with the super contrasty shot. But real quick, let me just show you guys how I'm comparing all of these. I'm using this tool called Cinematch. This is like the only tool in the market right now that has actual Z cam profiles. So I'm just changing this to an Ari Alexa Log C. And then from there, I'm just putting the Ari uh, LUT on here that comes with DaVinci. Let's just start with the Z cam shot. So Z cam, I'm very impressed by Z cam. Uh, they're one of my favorite like camera systems out there right now. I'm 100% confident using a Z cam on any gig, honestly, but uh, I'm about to show you guys why I got a Komodo. Uh, this first note right here, we're just controlling the highlights. So you see, I'm just bringing these highlights down. How I'm doing this is I'm just going to my qualifier and I'm just doing it by highlights and then I'm bringing down the highlights right there. That's all we're doing. So you see, this looks amazing right now. Then let's go lift our shadows up. So you see, we have a lot of detail in here. Before you turn this off, it doesn't look like there'd be much detail. If we turn it on, there's a lot going on in here. Uh, now let's go to the red. Let's turn on our highlight recovery and then let's turn on our shadow recovery. So you see, they look pretty similar. I would say the red has a little bit more color info in the shadows. The shadows overall just have a little bit more saturation. There is a lot more noise on the red because it's a raw profile. It's not doing any denoising compared to the Z cam. Even when you turn denoising off, uh, I feel like there's still some denoising going on in there. So let me show you guys right now though why raw is better than anything else out there. So right now we're at 400 ISO. Let's just take this up by two stops, so 1600. All of a sudden you see our shadows have a lot more detail. So everyone that's saying that log can hold up to red raw, here's your proof. This is the point of shooting raw. You can expose for your highlights and then you still have a lot more data on the lower end. Now a couple people have ran tests and told me personally that when they shoot Z raw on the Z cam, that it opens up like another stop or two into the shadows. The issue with Z-RAW is a lot of programs don't support it. I believe Final Cut supports it, but I mean, you really can't push a color grade like you can in DaVinci. So the first node covering highlights, see it looks amazing. Second node, we're recovering the shadows. Third node, we're doing a highlight and shadow recovery on top of that. So I'm just pushing the highlights down and then lifting the shadows all the way up. So you see our shadows are gone. There's just no info in there. And then once we go to the red, highlight recovery, you see I did clip it just a hair. That's not enough to really make this big of a difference that you're about to see. You see our shadows being lifted. We have details all in here. And then we have our highlight and shadows. Look at all the detail in here. Uh, but more importantly, look at the floor here. Like this just looks like black mush. And then on the red, we have all that detail in there. Now let's go to our roll again. Let's push it up two stops. Oh, look at that. There's even more detail in there. So again, we'll start the Z cam, covering those highlights, covering the shadows, another highlight shadow recovery right there. And you see it looks good, right? You can see it looks decent. Like we're really pushing this log profile. We recover some detail in here, but there's not a whole lot of saturation going on in the shadows. Now, Let's go over to the red. So you see overall, we have a little bit more color detail in the shadows, like it just looks a little bit more better, a little bit more uniform versus the Z cam. You see we're kind of, the blacks are kind of turning to mush where the red, 
it's kind of saving it just a hair bit more but again let's go to our ISO and the raw settings Ooh, look at that there were so many people hating on raw saying that a log profile is just as good as a raw here's the issue if i wanted to get these shadows uh exposed correctly on the z cam to where we could bring it in post we would have to start blowing out highlights. We expose both cameras to be right under highlight peaking. This first node, I'm just going in and I'm correcting the tint. Um, the Z cam runs a little bit magenta on these shots. I don't know if Jerva had his white balance set. I think it was set to neutral. This node, we're just doing a highlight and a shadow recovery over here. Let's push this up to 100. So you see there's a lot of info in there. Now, I know a lot of people are going crazy. I would never push it that hard, blah, blah, blah. I know that. This is me just really pushing it to the max just to see how much info we really have in there to play. So if you do have to stretch an image, this is giving you an idea of how much detail you have to play with. Now, this honestly looks like fine to me. Uh, obviously not for usability, but how much info is in there. But now let's go to the red. So this first note's noise reduction, but I'll turn that on here in a second. So again, this is just our shadow highlight recovery. You see it's very noisy. It's raw. So let's just turn on the noise reduction. Your settings are, there it is right there. Go to the, the Z cam. So you see the Z cam looks pretty good, but we're just, these blacks all are just gone. And then on the red, you see we have a little bit more info in there. Uh, the skin recovered a lot better. You see on the Z cam, it's kind of just really deep down there. You would have to really push it. Um, but let's go into our raw settings. Let's drop this by three stops. And you see how much detail we have in these highlights up here. Again, all the detail that the Z cam captures is insanely usable. If you want to see what, how I would probably grade it, it'd probably be more something similar to that. But again, this is just for a max comparison. So. Uh, let's go to the red. Let's turn on our highlight and shadow recovery. And then we'll turn on our denoiser. Look at our Z cam. Our skin tones are just gone pretty much in the shadows. On the red, look at all those skin tones in there. Like this is where dynamic range is super important too. To be able to save all these skin tones really helps for your grade because you could separate the skin tones even more. So see how the highlights look a little bit hard in the red let's just go and drop it down by a stop so you see all set in it looks a lot smoother let's go down another stop again so you see we have a lot of highlights in there and we just dropped it down by two stops uh, so right off the bat you see the z cam actually looks pretty good like this is an insane amount of uh, detail we have in here like let's look into the wheels over here you see we could bring it up and there's some pretty good info in there now let's go into the red. So you see overall, the red's color looks a lot better. You see when the Z cam's lifting the blacks, there's not a whole lot of color in there. And on the red, it's just, we're not only recovering the shadows, but we're also recovering like all this color detail in there. Uh, let's go back to the Z cams. You see these leaves are kind of just losing all their colors and everything. And then on the red, it's just, packed full of color detail in there so same story with these shots i wanted to get these highlights up here to see how they would recover and also how skin tone would recover but let's just turn on our highlight and shadow recovery so you see the z cam save these highlights up here and the shadows and everything looks pretty good right uh, but now let's go to our red you can see the green and ashley's shirt looks a lot cleaner on the red like there's just a lot more color in there but let's zoom into ashley's skin tones here Honestly, the Z cam, like this would honestly be pretty passable for me. I would be able to push that enough. Uh, and then one last thing too, let's go look at uh, the shadows back in here. You see the Z cams just, again, uh, it's kind of all going to black mush back there. And then the red's kind of holding a lot more detail, especially in the wood. Again, Z cams losing the color in the wood up here. And then the red's really holding it. 